Those shockwaves gained a lot of use. Look at those electricities. Why is it so hard for me to say that? Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 is here, and they're calling it Myths and Mortals. Now, the whole gimmick of this season is that there are some Greek gods that have established their drop spots on the Chapter 5 map. But if you've been keeping up to date with the news surrounding this seasonal update, we actually had the longest downtime ever between seasons, longer than the Black Hole event. And that was entirely unintentional. That was purely because the servers lit themselves on fire. They committed an Oppenheimer. Now I am become death. The destroyer of worlds. So unfortunately, it's going to take me an extra day to get you the true update video. So in today's video, we're just going to review the battle pass. We're going to check out all the new skins, and each one of them is a Greek god. And there's even a special crossover skin in the battle pass. And they've been doing this a lot lately. I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you guys. You're just going to have to watch the video. Comment down below what you think of this update. And be sure to use code SOURHEART in the item shop when buying your own battle pass to support this channel. I'm currently not monetized, but we are fighting hard to get there, so I could definitely use your support. There we go. So the Cerberus is actually the first skin. Very nice. That's actually pretty legit. Normally, I'm against skins that glow like that. But for the gimmick, we're going to have to try it out. So actually looking at the battle pass, his glider is a motorcycle. It's actually pretty gnarly. I'm into that. It's got like a crystal gas tank. Pretty cool. Cerberus himself. Next page over. We got a golden Cerberus. I wonder if he's actually going to have any super styles because of that. Fight can also go gold. The next skin on the list, Aphrodite. They're going all in on this myths and mortals gimmick right now. Immortal Aphrodite. Oh, that's very nice. I like the color change. An emote swinging from a heart cloud. That's kind of cool. And that's where the blade really turns it up. That's the official Barbie crossover right there. And then Ripley is Poseidon. I definitely saw leaks of this. This is hilarious. He comes with a trident, of course. How are you going to say no to the trident? Some alternate colors as well. The classic Ripley from Chapter 2 also had multiple colors. Conch Call emote. It had something inside of it this time. Summon the war bands. If you couldn't get the war cry emote, that old uh, trumpet from chapter one, that might be a decent replacement. Gorgon blade. Very nice. So that makes this Medusa, of course. There is some other Medusa skin that I've been seeing more recently. It's super rare, though. They have a habit of doing this, Fortnite, where a skin will go out of rotation, you'll never be able to get it again, and they'll bring back newer versions of it. Serpentine Summoning Emote. With a robot serpent. That's... That's actually kind of weird. But I guess it's all that, like, future past meeting together. Yeah, and her top form isn't much different either. Just a color swap, really. Next, I think we got Zeus. And he actually comes with a festival item as well, Electrified. Zeus is looking pretty good, man. This is actually an awesome interpretation. This might be my favorite in this uh, battle pass so far. This is actually a traversal emo. Wow, dude. This is really cool. This is probably, yeah, this is probably my favorite skin, emote, everything in the game right now. Conqueror Zeus, when he's ready for war. Arrow point. Ah, uh, who is this? Artemis. I never remember the bow chick from uh, Greek mythology, honestly. She's... <laughs> That's a pretty decent emote. I like that. I like that. This battle pass is shaping up to be high tier right now. Honestly, a W. I'm liking everything that's in it. Oh, okay. And she's actually got like a... Why can't I think of the word? That's her pickaxe right there. It's like a bow on her arm. Everything is just a bow in some fashion. I feel like they could have dug a little deeper into the stuff that Artemis does. She can't only do archery, right? That's like not all she does. Immortal Artemis unlocked. I actually like that galaxy effect. That's pretty dope. And this is probably Hades, right? Yeah, Hades. That's why he has the gas mask theme. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like modern meets uh, classic. That was probably the, what they were going for when they were designing this, and it definitely works with Hades. 
Hadian Key. Oh, dude. It's actually a Keyblade, but reverse. That's so weird. I just listened to, like, the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack today, and here we are. We're activating Keyblade, and he comes with a bass. Dude, hold up now. So Zeus plays guitar, Hades plays the bass. They're probably a pretty sick little band. And on the next page, we actually get his chariot. Oh my god. That's dope. That's dope. That matches so many skins that I have, actually. His back bling, the snake with the keys. Does it move, though? I wonder if it moves. And then the dark transformation. His unlocked form. I thought his mask would come off. I really thought his mask would come off. <laughs> and in the bonus rewards... Heartwinder, more variations of the glider, and the magmatic. That's hard to say. But yet another uh, Poseidon style. Another Zeus style, Immortal Zeus. He takes the armor off. It's just full white. Kind of cool. Oh, and this is where you get the pickaxe, too. The Ripley pickaxe. Duh. Elysian Artemis. That's how you get the pink on her. The pink looks really good with them, actually. I like that. Alternate colors on the horse chariot. Ah, uh, and we do have another instrument. We have the Gorgon mic. Okay, so now all we're waiting for is the drum kit. Lathan Hades. And then these are the prismatic styles. So then here, when we're looking at Cerberus, we got Blazing Fire Cerberus. What do you want to bet one of these has drum kit uh, has a drum kit in it. I bet you one of these has a drum kit in it. I would put money on that. Oh, and here is the crossover skin that was leaked. So it was correct. Those leaks were correct. Korra, of all characters from the Avatar The Last Airbender sequel, is here. There are leaks that Avatar, or rather Aang, and all the other side characters are going to come to the shop. Last season, we had, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover that took over pretty much the entire season. And that's kind of going to be how Avatar The Last Airbender is this season. Though, we may end up having some odd anime crossover as well, because they tend to do that. And by the way, this all expires May 24th, so this is about a two and a half month season, right around the time most kids get out of school for the summer. So they're going to have some fresh baked stuff for the summer as well. I think with all the new stuff on this map and in this season, you're going to have to play a lot if you really want to get the most out of it. But ranking this battle pass, I have to say it's an 8 out of 10. Definitely one of the best they've done for sure. Now, if you enjoyed that video, you'll definitely like this video next to me, which by now should be a full update video charting the four new mythics that are in the game. For what it's worth, I think this is one of the best battle passes Epic Games has done in a long time, and they definitely knocked it out of the park. It's a bit of an odd choice with that collab skin, but we'll see what they end up putting in the shop in the future. So until the next video, y'all take care of yourselves. Peace and love, baby.